When the Colombian midfielder steps out to face England in a World Cup last 16 tie on Tuesday, it will be a reminder of how the members of Jose Pickerman's squad literally grew up fighting for their lives. Quintero's backstory is a mixture of shock, horror and also regret after failing to make the most of the God-given talent that enabled him to escape the drug cartel-dominated streets of Medellin. The 25-year-old is looking to put the last part right by helping Colombia wreck English hopes of a quarter-final place. Born in Comuna 13, a hillside slum that was a battleground for the cocaine gangs and paramilitary forces, when he was growing up, Quintero was just two years old when his father, Jamie, left the family home in March 1995 to report for national service. Jamie was sent to join the Voltageros Battalion in the Uribe region of the country, but was reported missing just a couple of days later. One army chief claimed he had been caught taking drugs and sent back to Medellin by bus. Another said he got into a fight with an officer and was transported back to his hometown by plane to be disciplined. The reality was that the main breadwinner of the Quintero family was missing and he has not been seen since. Amnesty International opened a file on his disappearance, while his sister Sylvia has refused to give up her search for truth even 22 years later and now helps run an organization that assists families of people who have been disappeared by the authorities. A civil court ruling in 2001 concluded that the government was blameless. The only time Quintero has spoken about his father was in April when he curiously said, I was to blame. I won't talk about it. It's behind me. Quintero's troubled upbringing failed to quell his prodigious football talent. After joining local club Envigado, he moved on to Atletico Nacional before moving to Europe at the age of 18 with Pescara in Italy and then Portuguese giants Porto. He excelled there under Julian Lopetegui, the coach dramatically sacked by Spain on the eve of these World Cup finals over the way he took the Real Madrid job and earned a place in the Colombia squad that reached the quarter-finals of Brazil 2014. It was then that Quintero suffered a spectacular fall from grace, mixing with the wrong crowd and hitting the music scene harder than one of his trademark free kicks. It got to the point where a player who had been generating comparisons to Lionel Messi was threatening to quit the game to become a rapper. A loan to Rennes was cut short, the French side kicked him out for bad behavior, and he returned to Colombia to play for Independiente Medellin. Last December, Argentinian giants River Plate agreed to pay Porto a £300,000 loan fee, with a commitment to make the deal permanent a year later for a fee of £4. Five million. Read more World Cup 2018 now, Quintero is once again looking like the player he used to be, providing the ammunition at international level for James Rodriguez, Radamo Falcao and Juan Cuadrado. His performances here in Russia have led to suggestions that Lopetegui has told his new employers at Real Madrid to see if that deal with River Plate can be gasped. England boss Gareth Southgate will certainly be aware that if the little number 20 is given time and space, he has a left foot that can pick the three lions apart. Whatever happens in the Spartak Stadium on Tuesday, Quintero will never forget his roots. In the aftermath of the victory over Senegal, that set up Colombia's date with England, he said, this is for the whole community in Comuna 13. 
I love the people of the neighborhood very much, and I hope that I have shown that Communa 13 isn't just about bad things, but also good things. Poll loading who will reach the quarterfinals? 4,000 plus votes so far in England, Colombia.